Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Mystic Moonbeam Tarot and today I'm doing a Timeless Collective Crystal Ball reading. The messages I give are general so they may or may not resonate so as always just take what fits and leave the rest. Just give me a moment I'm going to get straight into it and tap into the energy. First off I'm seeing a question mark and I'm seeing a lot of uncertainty around someone as well. Someone may need to look at something more closely because there may be something that you're not seeing regarding something. I feel like there's something someone just can't put the finger on. I'm here in August or August the 8th. That date could be important to someone. I've just heard salmon, so I don't know. What, I don't know if someone's um, got the taste for salmon. I also feel as if someone is pushing against um, something instead of going with the flow, going upstream. That could mean something to someone. Someone's also feeling saddened by the thought of something as well. I don't know if this is around the uncertainty or the question marks or the questions that somebody's um, got with the question mark I was seeing. There's also something about the guttering on a roof. I don't know if someone has seen that the guttering is broke or blocked or someone is having new guttering there's something about guttering on a roof on a building i'm seeing the star sign of aquarius and leo the numbers 16 12 and 37 so that could be an age um the number of a day them numbers could mean something. July, March, October. I'm seeing the number nine, nine. Someone's going through a lot of anxiety or stress, worry, sleepless nights. It's like someone's ever thinking to the point where they're not sleeping. It's like your mind's racing of a night time. You can't shut off. I'm also seeing a message or a phone call is coming in with good luck and success shows with this as well. So I don't know if someone's waiting on a message or a phone call coming in regarding something. I'm just seeing it being a success and good luck surrounds this. I'm also seeing a white cat. That could mean something to someone. Now I'm seeing what looks like paving stones. It's like blocked paving. Um, that's red and yellow. Or something about red and yellow brickwork. And if someone's having the, uh, the driveway done. Or redone. Or thinking about getting it done. I'm just seeing yellow and red um, brickwork or blocked paving. I'm seeing the number 333. So someone could be seeing repetitive numbers. Especially three, three, three. I'm also seeing a business thriving as well. And answers coming in regarding travel. Or the pace of someone's business will pick up. There's some, there's some kind of... I'm seeing the initial P and Y. Also G. I'm also seeing some kind of news coming in regarding work or training or something to do with stability. This could be around an Aquarius, a Leo or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Rising. It could also be good news from a person who um, holds authority or is in a higher position. I'm just seeing good news regarding this. 
Now I'm seeing a lighthouse or someone holidaying where there's a lighthouse and something about pelicans. The 16th of September, 27th of September. Someone could also be 35 years of age as well. I'm seeing an accident around a male. Um, it could be a car accident or something about the wheels on a vehicle or bike. So a male needs to be careful with speeding. I'm seeing a disagreement or an argument between a male and a female of a lies or betrayal or questioning someone's loyalty. There could be accusations about someone betraying another with a friend. I just feel as if something's about to happen suddenly. I've got the initial K with this. See the initial F again as well. I don't know if I said that. F, G. Number six as well. And L. I'm also seeing a horse. So someone could be the sign of cancer or dealing with a cancer. It could also be forward movement as well. Taking control over your own life and steering it in the direction that you want it to go. But horses represent movement. Someone could be moving, whether this is job, home, a relationship, moving out of the home. I see an invitation arriving for someone or someone will be um, asked out on a date as well. I also see a promotion for someone. I'm seeing two people meeting at night time. And the moon will be visible. This could be in cancer season. I'm seeing half a moon and something about the colour red and yellow. Sunflowers could be important and red and yellow roses. Someone could also be given a big bouquet of flowers that contain red and yellow roses. Could even be sunflowers. July the 22nd could be important for someone. Someone could be a water sign and an air sign. Good luck and success is surrounding two people. And I'm picking up that someone has a black coloured dog. Um, I won't say it's big, I won't say it's small. It's like a medium sized dog. And it's black in colour. Yeah, I'm seeing a house move to where there's big trees. It could be evergreen trees. Black crows could be important to someone. Someone could be seeing a lot of black crows. And there's something about a peacock or peacock feathers. There could be a male around someone that's showing off. Now I'm seeing a, um, a child with a, a small white dog playing on a swing in a garden. This child sees fairies. This child could also talk to themselves when playing outside. Something about strawberries as well. Someone could live by a church with a cross on the top of a steeple. I'm hearing the 13th of March, 13th April. Someone could also have a tree swing as well in the garden. And this tree swing, I'm seeing it moving on its own. There's a child in spirit that plays on it. I'd say this child is around six, seven years old with ginger hair, pale skin and very bright pink lips. Don't 
Let me see something about a child and fairies. Strawberries. I don't know if there's a child that's mentioned that they see things when playing in the garden. You need to listen to what this child is saying. A Taurus will have a lucky escape or avoid an accident with a blade of some kind. Someone could also end an engagement as well. I'm in the 10th of September or something around October shows. I'm also seeing a ladder to me. Lad ladders represent a climb to success. Someone could be climbing to success, climbing to the top regarding a job because I was seeing a promotion. It could be that someone's been waiting for a promotion to happen. I don't know why I'm seeing like a hazard sign. A building could um, get closed due to... Um, Something to do with a hazardous situation. So I'm seeing a hazard sign. There's a new start that's going to be happening for someone. And it's something to do with... A new start around stability or security. Something about a thorn as well or... Someone... Could be, it looks like someone falling. Falling onto wood. Someone could get a thorn that gets infected. I'm also seeing a cross as well, so I don't know if someone's paying their respects at someone's um, grave or someone's going to a funeral. Someone's carrying a lot of burdens, extra responsibility. Someone could be asked as well to um, take on extra responsibility. And I do see this is this is going to burden you even more than how you feel already. You may have to say no. I'm also seeing someone um, kneeling down by flowers. It looks like flowers as well. I don't know if someone's going to be planting flowers or pruning flowers. I'm seeing a magnifying glass, so I don't know if someone needs to look at something closely. Because that's what I get with a magnifying glass, it magnifies things. If any important letters come in, make sure you read the small print. Someone needs to look at something closely. Maybe the name's Sally. Someone's going to be seeing something for what it is. So I see a cloud and it looks really dark, but then it lifts. I do feel as if someone's going to see beyond, some, beyond something. Whether it's someone's lies, um, beyond a situation. It's like the veil is being lifted. I'm also seeing um, a dog as well. It looks like a, a German Shepherd, Alsatian type, sheep, do sheep, sheep type dog. With something in its mouth. Looks like a slipper. I don't know if someone's dog has been chewing the shoes or the slippers. I 
I'm seeing um, a path as well. Normally, when I look into the crystal ball, if I see a path, I normally see two paths. But I'm seeing like a road and it's got like four, four different paths. So someone's going to have four choices regarding something. And you need to think something over before you make a choice. It's not going to be two choices. There's going to be four choices that you're going to be faced with. And I feel as if it's going to be a hard decision to make. But you need to think things over, look things over before making that choice. Because I feel as if the choice is going to be a really big one. I'm going to get into the charms now and see what messages I can get from the charms. Yeah, travel. There's also a grey area around travel as well. Um, I don't know if someone's feeling nervous about travelling somewhere. There could also be issues with travel as well, especially with the train being there. I don't know if um, travel is going to be delayed. I'm just seeing issues around travel or someone feeling nervous about travelling. And with the uh, leopard being overturned, when it's upright, it's all about perseverance and going the distance. Someone feels like giving up regarding a situation. It could be regarding the peace with the poppy there, but the poppy always also um, signifies a remembrance. So like I said, I was seeing um, someone visiting a grave or a funeral, remembrance. There is a lot of creativity that's going to be coming in now. Someone's passionate about something and you're being told to do it. I just want to get a couple of um, tarot cards. Let's have a look. I want that one. Yeah. Waiting. Seven of Pentacles. Planning. Looking back. So it could be that someone's looking back over something from the past. But that's also seeds that have been planted. Waiting for them to come into fruition. Number seven. So July or the seventh of a month. And we have the King of Wands. That's taking action. So someone could be finally taking action in July. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's waiting to take action regarding something. Sorry about that. And then we have the star, which is Aquarius. It could be that if it's regarding love, someone could be waiting before they, they come in to heal a situation. Someone could be looking back on something from the past. I just want to get a couple of more charms. The star is also a wish card as well. So someone could be getting um, what they wish or what they desire if they just take action. The timing's right for something. Yeah, stability, love. I'm definitely seeing that. Something about stability, matters of the heart. Take Something's going about to take off. We've got the evil eye as well. Someone could have purchased recently um, an evil eye bracelet, necklace, charm. Someone also needs to protect the security and the stability as well with that coming out. Or protect the things that you love. Something's about to take off regarding stability. And the seahorse is also a good look as well. Creativity is being brought in. Someone needs to carry on doing something that they're very passionate about. Or there could be something that you could get an idea that pops into your head, especially with creativity. Someone loves music as well. Someone could be learning the guitar. Someone could um, listen to music and it could heal them. Or music has something to do with the mood. Have a look. I'm being drawn to get another tarot card. Yeah, we have um, the Temperance, Balance, Sagittarius energy. 
I do feel as if balance is being brought in along with healing. It could be that you need to balance things out in your life, do things in moderation and be patient because whatever you're wanting to happen will happen. You just need patience. So I'm going to leave that there and I hope that helped. And thank you for watching.